I went ahead and taught you before prior to this how to do some regular fronds. I went ahead and did them over in this section here and this section here. And now I'm going to teach you how to do some banana palms. They're going to be using the same tones as what the faux finish was. So I will be using um, the same colors but I'll add some white and some darker color to, to the darker one to give a little bit more variation um, to where you can see it a little bit more. Now I learned this technique from my good buddy old Brett. And I mentioned that in my last video. The first thing you want to do is outline where you want them to go. So I'm going to have my first one over here, second one here, third here, and then fourth here. Now you want to draw them in to see how you want them to do them. You don't want to draw them fully, but just, just kind of where you want to kind of, kind of go a little bit. We got one here. Now we have another one here and so forth. So that's one. So the first thing you want to do is draw them out. Now my good friend told me that when you're painting, don't be afraid to use the brush because you know what? It's just paint. It's not like it's, you're building a new wall or whatever it is and you're going to mess up. If you mess up, it's just paint. You paint over it. You just fix it. You just fix it, baby. Now, you want to give an approach like it's kind of cuffed over. And how to do that is, you have to draw the darker color. You get some dark on there and some light, and you're kind of mixing the two in there together. So you want, you want the brush stroke to kind of go in there like this. See those, those brush? strokes make it give it like that banana effect. You know how the banana palm trees that have those different kind of grains in there? And then you want to lighten up the edges a little bit, maybe bring the lighter one color back in. Not filling it in all the way. I want the, the, the faux finish to come through because I want it to look kind of aged. And then highlight the stem a little bit. And then continue that on with the third, fourth, and fifth one. And that, my friend, is how you do a banana palm. Please feel free to email me with any questions at steve at rollabucket.com. Thank you and God bless.